This is Matt, and these are the metal vinyl releases for December 2022. Starting with December 2nd, expect the sixth studio album from Australian black and thrash band Destroyer 666. This is Never Surrender to be released by Season of Mist. Vinyl variants for this one will be one LP black at 2,000 copies, as well as transparent red and black marbled, limited to 400 copies, and a Season of Mist exclusive. This will also come in a printed inner sleeve and with a poster. Music videos will be out for a guillotine, as well as an audio track for Andraste. Uh, both tracks are pretty decent, though I lean a little bit more towards guillotine, so maybe check that one out first. Either way, find both at the Season of Mist YouTube channel. So definitely dug the tracks on this one, and we'll be checking it out with the full release once it drops. Also on December 2nd will be a reissue of the fourth studio album from Swedish black and death metal band Necrophobic. This is Blood Hymns, originally released in 2002, but now reissued by Century Media. Vinyl variants will be one LP black and an unspecified number of copies, clear vinyl at 1,000 copies, white vinyl at 300 copies, which will be an EMP and Nuclear Blast exclusive, and red vinyl at 300 copies, which will be a Century Media exclusive. It also comes in a gatefold jacket and with a double-sided A2 poster. So I've generally enjoyed this band but haven't really bought anything from them. I would like to check more into this one though, because it doesn't look too bad. Moving on to December 9th, we'll get the seventh studio album from American horror metal band Bloody Hammers. This is Washed in the Blood to be self-released. Vinyl Vera be one LP, but the color is currently unknown as the band just successfully completed a crowdfunding campaign to actually raise money for the vinyl pressing. And the actual variant or variants have basically yet to be announced. Music videos for Phantasmagoria and At Midnight, I'll Take Your Soul, as well as a lyric video for Black Sunday. All the tracks are sufficiently spooky, with Phantasmagoria being a bit more of a standout. All of these can be seen at the Bloody Hammers YouTube channel. So definitely some hard rock leanings in this band, but fairly riffy and occasionally catchy. We need to hear more if wanting to pick this one up, though. And also on December 9th, look out for the third studio album from Swedish hard rock band Cobra Cult. This is Don't Kill the Dark, to be released by GMR Music. So no vinyl variants have been announced, but there will be at least one available on release day. Uh, music videos for Late Night Adventure and Don't Kill the Dark, both of which are available at the GMR Music YouTube channel. Gotta say, I'm really digging both available tracks, notably Don't Kill the Dark, so I'll definitely be looking for this one on release day. And also on December 9th will be a compilation of demo material from Monaco-based electronic black metal band God Killer. This is We Are the Black Knights to be released by Debamore Morty Productions. Vinyl variants will be one LP black as well as transparent red. Uh, no numbers available on either pressing right now. Interesting use of HM2 guitars along with keyboards and black and vocals. Not sure if it's entirely for me, but check it out if it's for you. And also on December 9th, expect a reissue of the sixth studio album from Swedish hard rock band Crazy Licks. This is Forever Wild, originally released in 2019, but now to be reissued on vinyl by Frontiers Records. So, as with the album before this one, Frontiers has been slowly getting around to releasing the entire Crazy Licks catalog on vinyl, and this looks to be the next one to go. I actually wrote them a few years back, begging them to do this, and while I don't think my single email did the trick, there was clearly a desire to get these to the format, so who cares how it happened? Vinyl Variant is one LP black, and the European store for the label says it's limited to 200 copies, but the U.S. store isn't listing numbers, so it's unclear if that's the total run or just the copies in the Euro store. So there's that. Music videos for Breakout and Silent Thunder are available. Both tracks are pretty comparable, so check them out at the Frontiers Music SRL YouTube channel. So yeah, I'm getting this one. Moving on to December 16th, we'll get a split album between American heavy metal band Throne of Iron and American thrash band Dungeon Crawl. This is the side quest to be released by Wise Blood Records. Vinyl variant will be one LP, 180 gram black and limited to 100 copies. Also comes in a full color, two-sided insert. No music videos, but you can check out one song from each band at the Wise Blood Records Bandcamp page for the album. 
I'm gathering that both bands have a bit of an interest in role-playing games of the D&D variety, even down to the name of the release. It is called the Side Quest, after all. Dig the Throne of Iron track, but the Dungeon Crawl track is considerably better. Still, I'll be checking more into this one when it comes out. Also on December 16th will be another reissue for Necrophobic. This is their seventh studio album called Womb of Lilithu, originally released in 2013, but now reissued by Century Media. Vinyl variants will be two LP black vinyl and an unspecified number of copies, silver vinyl at 1,000 copies, 300 gold copies, which will be an EMP and Nuclear Blast exclusive, and red vinyl at 300 copies, which will be a Century Media Records exclusive. As with the other necrophobic reissue, I'll likewise wait for the full release and look into it further then. So a bit of a short list this month, seeing it's December and comparatively a dead month for releases. It's kind of how it always goes. However, if you know of any metal vinyl releases that are coming up in future months, definitely drop those in the comments below. Give me the band name, the album title, and the release date. Always incredibly helpful. When I get release dates I either didn't run into or maybe didn't even think to put down. Gotta tell you, it's a pretty big world of metal out there, and while I do get to quite a bit of it, sometimes things are bound to slip through the cracks. So as always, big thanks to you. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, but also consider sharing it and maybe even subscribing to the channel. That's always appreciated. Other than that, I would like you to check out my other videos here at the Accusation Network. In case you're new to the channel, my name is Matt, and I post every week on metal vinyl collecting, also do videos on classic and modern metal in general. Definitely check out the playlists and watch some videos. Why not? And as always, thank you for watching and check back next month for even more metal vinyl releases.